Hey guys, Andre here, and we just got done watching the Nintendo Direct a little while ago, or digital event, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to give our raw impressions real quick. I get the whole crew here to do so. Um, so I'll start things off since I'm holding the microphone. Uh, overall, I thought it was an okay show. Like, I was a little bit let down compared to our expectations. Uh, what's funny is a lot of our predictions actually did come true. So it's not in the form we expected. We got a new Paper Mario, but it's a crossover on 3DS with Mario and Luigi, which actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, we got a new Animal Crossing on Wii U, but it's a board game. <laughs> and then we got a new Metroid Prime, but it's on 3DS and some co-op thing. So, uh, very, very odd, uh, some very odd unexpected games, but by the same token, some of them look like they will be a lot of fun. And I actually thought Star Fox Wii U looked fantastic. Um, they really came through. I was very skeptical of how it would turn out. And granted, I still haven't played it yet, but we will soon. Um, but based on what I saw, I thought it looked great, and I love what they're doing, the transformations. Um, it just looks very promising. So I love seeing the uh, Star Fox 2 callback in there, being able to turn, turn into the walking tank. Uh, so yeah, overall, I, I thought it was okay. I, if I had to choose, I would say Sony probably had the best conference with their fans. But, you know, so Nintendo had some interesting stuff. I didn't see Mario Tennis coming. So <laughs> there you go. All right, uh, I think we'll pass it on to Ash. All right, so yeah, you know, I think it was pretty... Patently average. I mean, there's some cool stuff in there. I'm super hyped for Paper, uh, Paper Mario, or uh, sorry, Mario Luigi Paper Jam. Uh, that's a cool mashup. I think it's a great idea. It looks really creative. I'm excited about that. Star Fox Zero looks great. Uh, we found out after the the conference that or the event that Platinum Games is making, and I think that would have been a good thing for them to say during the show. But whatever, that's really cool. Uh, you know, Mario Tennis. I don't personally care about it, but that's not something we saw coming. But I, uh, Andre, I think you kind of nailed it when you said that they're br they, they seem kind of tone deaf this conference because they're bringing games that that we kind of want, but not in the way that we want them. Like again, Animal Crossing Wii U. It's a party game. I mean, the Wii U has enough party games already. And then uh, you know. Um, uh, Metroid Prime. I mean, I predicted there would be a Metroid on 3DS this year, but at what cost? I mean, I mean, it almost does it. It says Metroid Prime in the title, but it, I feel like that's almost just an excuse to say, hey, we're making a Metroid game. It doesn't look like Metroid at all. Um, but we got release date for Xenoblade Chronicles X. We got uh, more Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. Um, you know, Fatal Frame got, is getting a uh, fall release date. So there's some good stuff. But overall, it just it wasn't. It didn't have the punch and that that big megaton announcement that we needed. However, you have to remember that we got three new characters, two new stages, and a bunch of other stuff in Smash on Sunday, and that technically counts as part of their E3 offering. So that you know, that does kind of help swing it back in the, in the positive direction. But overall, Sony easily had the best conference this year. I think that's pretty obvious to everyone. You know, it's an average year for Nintendo, but they had three or four great E3s, and uh, you know, I think they're allowed an average one. Uh, so, but Derek, what do you think? Uh, I think it was fine. It wasn't uh, obviously the th the problem is is that there wasn't that one big game that just blew everybody away. That was a surprise and just could get everybody could get behind. We had Star Fox Zero. Looks great. Can't wait to play it. All R wing and just the transformation stuff. That's a great way to just change up the gameplay, but still keep it all in vehicle sections, which is what everybody wants. Uh, it uh, seems like a really great way to evolve it. I love the idea of crossing over Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario. That's a, uh, I've always seen sort of a separation between those two franchises. Uh, one one side preferring the other a lot of times, and this is a great way to get both of them into it together. Uh, personally, I'm really excited that they g gave an English tra trailer for uh, Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, I love that they got the voice acting in, the, uh, the translations in process, um, but still a 2016 release date, which sucks. So, <laughs> But uh, I love that. I love that we still got more for Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. It's looking really good, too. Uh, I really, I, we even got confirmations on what those special characters were, and I'm really excited for that. Got some analysis coming up. But um, one of the things that Andre and Ash forgot to mention was Zelda Triforce Heroes, and that, that looks like a lot of fun. The fact that it's online is key. This, that needed to happen. The fact that we got it is great, um, and I'm really looking forward to playing that with someone in particular I might have played Four Swords Adventures with, but um, the rest of it, it just is, I liked what I saw. The release dates are kind of odd. I, I can't believe that Worldly World isn't coming out until October. That seems way too far off for something that does not need that much translation, and it's going to get buried in October, and that's uh, that. I'm really afraid for that. Um, Honestly, my biggest point were twofold was Metro was Metroid Prime. That just looks like a whole lot of nothing to me. And the ending, where it, it's just a Mario thing with for it's nice they have charity, but that's not a strong way to end the show with. And I think that just left a bad like lasting impression. So overall, decent but not great. Uh, Tom. <laughs> 
Thank you, Derek. Uh, I'd say starting out with the show, I did love how Nintendo used Muppets. We were wondering how they could talk top robot chicken. Muppets are a way to do that. Uh, and them turning to Star Fox, that was pretty great. Uh, starting off with Star Fox, I kind of expected another big game later on. But seeing all the mech transformations or the different vehicles of Star Fox looks great. Platinum, fantastic. But then for the other big one, just to be Mario Maker, basically, it kind of... It wasn't the same level of disappointment as it was with Rare not making Banjo-Kazooie or Battletoads. Maybe halfway to that level, but for me. But you have to keep in mind, it w didn't have a gr lot of great blockbuster titles, but it did have a lot of fun games that I definitely will love to play and play multiplayer with my friends, like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Mario Tennis today. It's not Strikers, but I'll take it. Paper Mario, that looks good. I just hope it's not as terrible as the uh, Mario and Luigi with the babies in it. We have to control four at once. I hope it's going to be a bit toned down in <laughs> using the controls. But otherwise, you know, like that was saying, we had Smash and Mario Kart last two years. You know, maybe next year is Zelda. We're in a little bit of an off year. And they said until early 2016. They're not like Sony and Microsoft saying, hey, look at this stuff coming out in Christmas 2016 or beyond really when they say that. So being a bit more respectful of us waiting for our time. Anyway, uh, look forward to actually playing them on the show floor in about a couple hours. And off to Andre to closing thoughts. All right, here I am with the closing argument. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually think Tom kind of hit it. Like there were a lot of like a lot of actually a fair amount of surprises here. Uh, there's nothing like nothing like huge like A list really besides Star Fox. So um, I think there's a lot of good content there. Just nothing like super exciting in and of itself. With that said, we're gonna go play them very soon. So expect tons of videos coming from the E3 show floor. Um, in the case, as with a lot of Nintendo games, a lot of them play better than they look, and I expect that to be the case with some of the ones we saw today. So we'll uh, we'll be back soon with more raw impressions more gameplay videos, more discussions very soon. Stay tuned and uh, RIP your sub boxes. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Bye.